Hey guys, so tonight we're going to be making an easy chicken pot pie cobbler. And what makes it different uh, than a standard pot pie is instead of using a pie crust, we are going to be using this red lobster cheddar bay biscuit uh, as a crumble on the top. So you're, and this is actually an exciting recipe for us because the dehydrated rotisserie chicken from Costco, this was the first thing we put on the freeze dryer. I called it dehydrated, but freeze dried. This was the first thing that we did. So we're about to rehydrate it. You're gonna use a half a cup of melted butter. Next, you're gonna go ahead, in our case, we're gonna add the uh, freeze dried chicken, but you can also use fresh rotisserie chicken or shredded chicken breast. And Corey, yeah, how know. much would you... I guess that's probably about good. Oh, you don't think we should do the rest of it? Go ahead. I mean, what we'll just have leftover. But what would you say that is about how much? Yeah, it's hard to say when it's, de when when it's, it's freeze-dried. Yeah. I don't know. I'd it'd say be it's about Half a chicken, maybe? I don't know. Half a chicken, okay. And then, so on the chicken broth, which this might actually be the broth we used... Uh, yeah. For that chicken. So anyway, how much do we need? A cup. A cup. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that on. All right. So next, you're gonna take a can of cream of whatever you want to use. I'm using a cream of chicken and mushroom, and I'm just gonna dollop. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Just dollop this uh, over the top. It's kind of like a layer pot pie. Just give it a good mix. In fact, it really, whether you layer it or just mix it all together, it just doesn't matter. I'm just going to take my uh, can of drained mixed vegetables and just dump that right there on the Okay. Next, you're just going to season it according to your preferences, whatever it is that you like to put in a pot pie. I'm using some dehydrated onion. We're going to put our favorite Julio's, which is kind of just an all-purpose seasoning that's got like a cumin base. I decided to use the garlic powder. I thought it would mix a little bit better than the minced. So if you haven't had these red lobster biscuits, you're really missing out. This is going to be excellent on our uh, pot pie here. So we're going to make this part according to the package directions. So we're going to put the biscuit mix into a bowl. And where it calls for water, we're, uh, because we have that open thing of chicken broth, I'm just going to use chicken broth instead. And then we're going to add milk. How much? So you're going to just give this a good mix. And then the thing is, it's going to look a little funny, but because we're not making actual biscuits, but making that cobbler topping, we want it to be quite a bit thinner and runnier. So I'm going to take three-fourths of a cup of milk, and I'm just going to mix that in. This will make it a little more spreadable over the top. Then you're going to take a half a cup of shredded cheese and mix that in. And then we're just going to pour this on top of the pot pie mixture. And it's just going to do its thing. It looks like a lot, but again, just trust me, it's going to turn out just fine. You just spread it around like a cobbler topping. And then you're going to put it in the oven and bake it according to... Actually, we're going to bake it for how long? Maybe 45, 45 minutes, minutes to an hour, said. All right, 45 minutes. And what did we set it to? 375. So we're going to put it in 375 and we'll check on it shortly. So we baked it at 375 for about 50 minutes and look how beautiful that looks. So the next thing we're going to want to do is according to the back of the 
the box, we need to add this herb dressing packet to some melted butter and then spread it on top. All right, so we're just adding the seasoning packet. This is what makes the Cheddar Bay Biscuits just over the top. They are truly the best. And then I am going to just uh, drizzle this on. Right, I'm going to start out trying to brush it. But I'm probably going to end up just, you know, it's late. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm just going to drizzle this. Let's see. Mm, mo butter, mo butter, am I right? Mm-hmm. At there least you go. didn't dollop it on. <laughs> Babe, leave me alone with the dolloping. All right, so we'll just let this cool off for a minute, and we'll be back with the taste test. All right, the hubby is going to do the honorary scooping of the pot pie. Uh-oh, is that hard to do? No, not really. Okay. Yeah, looks good. Did it get all the way done? Oh, yeah. We know that chicken has to have rehydrated. Look how thick that is. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy, yummy. All right, guys. Here comes the taste test. It smells good. It smells good. I love Cheddar Bay Biscuits from Red Lobster. Mmm. Needs more butter. Yeah. I'm totally kidding. I think we use like at least a cup of butter. But mm, no, really this good. is really, really good. You would not know that we threw this. I mean, the cooking part took the longest because that was like 50 minutes or something. Yeah. But the throwing it together part what was it like under 10 minutes yeah. and if mm. you didn't know the chicken was freeze dried you'd never guess mm. Mm, that's it's so good so you thought you just pulled off rotisserie chicken not bad for our um, our honorary first uh brought back to life freeze dried food mm -hmm. item so anyway i hope y'all give this uh a try it's a good weeknight meal very simple very delicious we're going to have leftovers. I hope you want to eat this again tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Y'all take care. Have a good one.